everybody, Stuart McAdam here, and in today's video, we're going to be doing a simple walk through the Facebook Business Suite. Now, a lot of you have been asking, do I use the Facebook Business Suite? Is it something that's helpful? Does it help make things easier? Does it make things harder? So, we're just going to walk you through everything, and that way you can make up your own mind about whether you think it's a tool that's uh, worth using, or if you'd rather stick to the uh, traditional methods, it's entirely up to you. But one of the things that Facebook has been doing is rolling out the business suite as a way of making it easier to manage everything in one place. So let's just get straight into it. As you can sort of see here, um, you've got the Facebook page that, is, that will sort of appear here at the top. So here's an example page right here. You can use your promotion tools. So let's say, for example, uh, that you want to uh, do some sort of promotion. This is effectively like a uh, boosted post, but you know, got a little bit more capability. So you can set up automated ads. You can do um, sort of goal setting right here. You want to get more leads, more messages. You want to boost existing content that you have. So you may have put up a post before um, that you would like to promote. And as you can see here, there is only like a couple of ones um, right now and you can select uh, boost post and that will effectively take you through to um, the business post um, boost post one which you can sort of set up and it's basically set up in the same way as you would have for um, a traditional boosted post that shows up on your business page newsfeed so everything all the settings or the payment summaries daily reach uh, setting the budget and so on so um, it's nice and easy to navigate you can create you know stories for your page here so let's just say you want to set up something new is and let's just use this example and this is just a random thumbnail picture of me <laughs> and here you go you can see right here, images uploading, but in the meantime, you can start adding the, adding some text in right here. Say, hello. And then you can just select publish story, or you can schedule it for later on. So. If you'd like to schedule it later on, it's nice and easy. You just select a time and date that you want it to go up. You may find that people are working um, to, or engaging with your posts more at particular times of the day. So the schedule tool is quite a useful one, and it's just here in the drop-down arrow for the story. So we're just going to um, go to the next one here, which is just setting up a new post for the page as well. So you've got the stories feature, and now it's here in the post. Now you've got an Instagram account, you'll see it connected right here, and you basically just select which platform you'd like it to appear on, Facebook or Instagram. So let's just say Facebook, and we are super excited to be back. And the great thing about the business suite here is you can preview it in real time on your desktop and on your mobile as well. So let's say you want to add a photo and again we'll just use the one of the ninja version of me and one of the recommendations that I just have as well very quickly is you ideally want to make sure your image is no bigger than three megabytes at one time. So there you go. Um, that's the desktop preview version and here's the mobile feed version right here. So this is what it looks like in real time. So if you are adding, you know, more text, um, let's go for there right now. Back. More sales on. You can get a very quick idea as to how your post is going to look in real time and the thing that I really like about this feature of the business suite is that you don't have to go off separately and preview it somewhere somewhere else 
it's all there, it's all in real time, and you can swap it in and out. And the other thing too is um, you can get messages for it as well, but the starting point for that is you've got to remove this, and you've got to turn this on here, and then as you can see here, you've got to choose what file you want to get it in and you can change and adjust it accordingly. So that's the next tool there and we're just going to exit out of that and move on to the next one here which is the activity section. So basically <clears throat> that is any updates or notifications that you have on the page and it will basically alert you, you may get messages, you may get comments, it's similar to the notifications but it's just filtering it out solely for um, the particular page that you're managing. You can see right here in the inbox tab right here that you're able to see in real time the people that are coming in. So you've got the all messages, you've got the messenger tool here, you've got Instagram direct, Facebook, Instagram, all the automated responses. So we can go into here and previously you'd have to navigate through a couple of tools to get into the automated responses. Here it's nice and easy. You just go to the inbox tab here and you select automated responses. So let's just say you want to do an instant reply to anyone. So, hi, thanks for contacting us. We will respond to your message within 60 minutes during business hours. Here we go, and then you just select save. And you can preview that in your messenger later on. And you may say have a frequently asked question, you may have an away message that's turned on every time you're out. So let's just say um, instant reply is off and you want to go instead for something else and that's when you just tap on the away message and then you go here uh, out of business hours so please allow for a response in the next working period Okay, and then all you have to do after that is just select save and all you need to do is adjust it, timing for your when you're away, so that might be Saturday, Sunday and you can add a time. Um, then you just select save. And as you can see there, that's when the away message will be sent. And then the rest of the time, you'll have your instant reply on. Uh, you can also add frequently asked questions, which is quite a cool little feature. I have got another video on that, so I'm not going to go into too much detail as well. Just showing you basically where to find it. It's in the inbox here in automated messages. But you can have chat plugins as well, which allows you to connect with uh, integration tools which is a handy thing to have when you're trying to build your business out and take advantage of automation. But not going to go into detail on that today, just showing you again where it is. So then that brings us down to the posts and stories, which is something that we have done before. Basically, again, creating a story, creating the posts, we've run over that, but this is the centralized place. And you can see the posts that are established here. If you want to have, like, exam for example, a scheduled post that uh, people will see at a later date, you could say, set that up right there, and then you can just select schedule post, and let's just say you do it for April 30th, and then just select schedule post right here, and then that will come up with all scheduled posts here and you can see the published ones here and also your draft versions um, of any posts that you may have started but not finished. So coming to the next one right here just going into the ads manager um, 
ad section here. So you can create an ad up at the top here, which is effectively like the boosted posts one, or you can go into the ads manager itself, um, which will just bring you up to this section right over here, which is slowly loading, and it will basically have similar layouts and features that you would have in your traditional ads manager. So as you can see here, this is done on um, an account where there aren't any active ads running yet, but it's the same features that you would have in your traditional ads manager. And I can't emphasize this enough, everybody. Uh, if you want to fully take advantage of the Facebook advertising platform, please do use the ads manager. It gives you more power over who you can target and um, the way in which you can customize your ads over the traditional uh, boosted posts. So next thing we're going to come to is the insights section down here and this basically allows you to see how people are engaging with your page, how many page likes you have, uh, what some of the trends are that have been happening, uh, the content that people have been engaging with. So this might be um, for example, let's just do go back to over a period of time and then just go update so we can see some content that people have engaged with. And this allows you, boom, right here to see all the people that you've reached, all the likes and reactions in the comments here. You can have a look at who your audience is by age, cities, genders, and countries as well. So that's a look at the insight section right here. Once again, it's just right here, nice and easy to find. Now we're going to go to the section called More Tools, and that's going to take you to a tab right here, which gives you a whole range of things. So this goes to Ad Account Settings, and just going to show you very quickly, not going to spend too much time on it, um, what's included in the Ad Account Settings and why this is important. So. As you can see here, it's the payment methods, the ad account roles, um, payment settings, notifications, that's the first thing. Second thing, uh, ads manager, that's basically where we were before, uh, just the section right here and the ad account up at the top there. So coming out of that and going towards the next one, you've got ads reporting, you've got appointments, uh, you have your saved audiences, your billing method where you basically set up how you pay for your um, the, the ads that you're running, whether that's through PayPal or whether that's through credit card. It's all very um, simple and, and easy to navigate in, in quite a simple way. So I'm not going to get too technical on the details. I'm basically just going to show you uh, what's included in there and what it looks like. If you're familiar with Facebook ads, there shouldn't be too much problem understanding what it is. So here we go is the payment activity, you've got the payment settings. It's not too hard to get everything set up there. And if we come back to um, audience manager here, there's no audience set up yet, but this is where you would see where your custom audiences are, your saved audiences and so on. And Events Manager, that's the pixel and tracking, instant form, so if you've got lead generation ads that you're running on Facebook, that's nice and easy. And if you really want to, you can view your page from the ad setting uh, right here. And it will take a bit of a while to load, but it will open everything up and you can start to see, um, again, what your page looks like. It gives you the authority and management tools. And here is... Yeah, here's a look at everything over there. And that is going to be everything I'm going to cover today. We're going to go back to the home page here. And that is basically a tutorial, everybody, on uh, how to use the Facebook Business Suite, where 